Hey there. So here is my color palette. Rainbow colors, neon rainbow colors. So lately I've been having a little bit of artist block. And whenever that happens to me, and I'm sure that happens to everybody who's an artist, my go-to is a rainbow colored palette. You can almost never go wrong with that. So I've decided, oh, well, I haven't hundred percent decided what I'm going to do, but, uh, I'm going to start by saying there's a 24 by 24 inch canvas that I painted over a painting that was meh, but let's see if I can do something really cool with it. All right. So let's layer my base paint down black base paint, which to be honest, I don't think any of this is going to end up showing. Which is fine, because I'm not looking for any negative space in this painting. But if I get it, that's great. I want to point out there that for anybody who does fluid art, a lot of people get disappointed when a painting doesn't turn out like you're going to expect it to. Chances are it's not going to turn out as you expect it to. But that's honestly one of the things that I, that I love about it. It's not going to turn out like you expect. Okay, I mean... If every painting you did was going to turn out as expected, that's not really fun, is it? You know? Alright, so, you know what? I don't even know what I'm going to do yet. I mixed all my colors. Up. I, I've mixed up a total of about uh, 40 ounces of a paint to fill this entire canvas. Technically, it should be about 35 if your uh, consistency is about, uh, you know, between thin and thick, about a medium consistency. Technically about 35 ounces, but I always mix a little bit more just to be safe. Okay, because I mean, shit, what happens if you uh, start spreading and it's like crap, I don't have enough paint. Then you got to run and mix it, been there, done that. All right, I'm going to start with red, fluorescent red. All my colors, as well as the recipe for this painting, will be in the description of this video. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Like I said, I was having artist block. And here's my go-to palette. Yellow, this is, oh God, I love yellow. A lot of people don't like orange or yellow. I love orange and yellow. Of course, depending on, you know, the shade of yellow, orange, but if anybody have seen any work on my channel, any of my work, you know that I love vibrancy. I love vibrant colors, a lot of contrast. It's just so cool. So, I've seen so many artists. Um, fluid artists who do massive canvases and they're so amazing but I think as a fluid artist you have to have a little bit of thick skin if you're on social media because people could just get nasty they just get nasty over like not considering this a real art you don't consider it a real art yeah that, that is your opinion I don't, give, I don't give a shit what you think you know but most people do not know the prep work that goes into this. Yeah, so if you're, if you're gonna be a fluid artist, you might as well just be a chemist as well, okay? All right, so I think, all right, so let me show you my cell activators. This is my own brand of cell activators, okay? And I think I'm going to use a couple different ones, actually. I'm going to do, I'm going to do two colors. I'm going to do white. I think I'm going to do, let's do white in the center. You need just a little bit, okay? And the amount of cell activator that you put on your swipe tool does influence the, the size of the lacing, size of the cells that pop up. These are dense colors that I'm using. Here's my black. Cosmic black. It's good stuff.
I really actually enjoy going through my entire process, my entire thought process and my videos. And if you think that every artist, every fluid artist that does fluid art has a channel, they don't have a hundred percent, you know, idea or plan of what they're going to do. And that's great. That's when the paintings turn out the best. All right. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. So, you know what? I don't know. I'm going to do this. All right. So remember, don't, don't be, if you're using a palette to swipe, don't be afraid to just turn it over. Okay. This is not going to go anywhere. Okay. So let's start. How about right there? Start right there. Beautiful. Now that's pretty freaking cool. Okay. Let me actually get my surgical tools out of the way. Here are my surgical tools. I like to have them right next to me so I don't do too much running around as I'm painting. Okay. I'm going to get this part right there. Okay. And I think I'm going to use, let's use white actually, because I did just, so that reads right next to the black, okay? This little four ounce bottle here will last me, and has lasted me through several paintings. You don't need much cell activator, just a little bit. This uh, whole year, so far, I've uh, done a few videos of uh, astrological signs, and I've created paintings and the videos to go with them. I talk about the horoscope. So far, I've done the Pisces, Aries, and and Taurus. If you get a chance to look at them. They are. They're fun. I love doing those. Okay, I think that's enough of that part. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to create a line going like this. Oops. Drag that one out a little bit, but it's okay. It's not going to show. So yeah, some of these artists, like, they got to have some thick skin because I'm talking like thousands and thousands of just really hateful messages that they get. I'm just like, good for you guys. And then I go and sometimes I'll write a message standing up for them. Like, why don't you all, you know, try this before you judge it. At this point, I'm not really sure if I'm going to wreck this with a marble yet. I might. But let's just see how it turns out. It's a really pretty blue. So for my swipes, I like to have about a medium consistency. So all my paints are, let's see, one part paint, two parts flow troll, and then each paint and color was thinned out with about five to 10% water. Now, if you look at a recipe, okay, and it's gonna say, all right, one part paint, two parts whatever pouring medium, you know, it's not, the consistencies, the consistencies probably won't end up the same. 
So don't let anybody tell you that that's exactly what it is, because there is nothing exact. Okay, to get equal consistencies, what is important, let's add a little bit more red, how about right there? Ooh, and actually, I'm add them in there. A little bit more red. So yeah, so for consistencies, once you're done mixing all your paints, go back to each one and see if they match. If the consistencies don't match or are uneven, but one's thicker or thinner, use distilled water, thin it out accordingly so that it does match. Because one thing that is important in this art is the consistencies. Okay, that's a lot of paint. <laughs> it's all right. Okay. This is interesting. I can't remember if I've actually ever done it like this before, but let's see how that turns out. And I actually like the, let's see, I think I'm going to do, yeah, white, black, white, black this time. So that the white ends up about right there. Okay. At this point in the painting, I still don't have, I still don't have a solid idea of uh, <laughs> how I, I want to do this. So I'm just kind of going with it. I think a general plan is good when it comes to colors, combination, color, color palettes is what I want to say, or color combinations. And then what, uh, what kind of pour you want to do. Swipe, ribbon pour, there's like a thousand of them. I'm sure there's more than a thousand. Okay, all right, let's try it again. Just about right there. I want the edge of that palette to lie just across the last swipe. I love that right there. Pretty cool. So far, so good. I am digging it. Absolutely digging it. All right, so I'm gonna have to do, let's do this part here, like that. Um, remember, swipe tools have an angle right there, okay? I'm gonna make a solid effort to not not fuck this up okay um just like pour a little bit of cell activator on there and spread it around that's how little you need okay and i want the edge of this spatula just to go along the sides of the last swipe. You don't have to do it like that, that's just how I like to do it. Okay, so as you can see from this swipe, these cells are taking a little longer to pop up because I did put too thick of a layer of cell activator on there. It wasn't thin enough, but yeah. You know, let me tell you all something else. In the videos that you see, and you see people doing swipes and you're waiting for those cells to pop up, they don't actually pop up that quickly. That part, in most for most artists, that part is sped up. Okay. Yeah, so that part's sped up. Sometimes the cells, depending on the density of the cell activator you're using, um, they take a little bit to pop up because yeah, that density that the, the cell activator has to go through the other colors. It's more dense. It's heavier. So yeah, it's going to go through it. Wait, what am I doing? I'm not ready to turn this canvas. Um, okay. And this is where I just sit here and I think. 
Okay, so I want to, and I'm loving all this, I'm loving all this. I'm loving all of it so far. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do is, what if I went like that? Put a couple like streaks and then just kind of went around like that, around the edges. Let's try it out. Okay, and let's start with the red. Here is fluorescent orange. Seeing that a lot of people don't like orange. And a specific person who doesn't like orange. Fine, if you don't like orange. That sucks for you, because there's so many cool things you could do with orange. Of course it depends, for me, depends on the shade of orange. I like neon orange, the bright orange colors, like, uh, like an actual orange. I'm not gonna lie, orange is, for me, it's kinda, it is a challenging color to work with. Oops. I think what I might do, we'll see if I do this uh, towards the end of the painting, is see how this looks under black light. I'm suspecting it'll look awesome. This is a metallic purple that I'm using. And it is really cool. Okay, and finally, the violet. All right. I think, I think I'm gonna do white, actually. Let's use the white cell activator. The white, you know, I could actually apply a little bit thicker because it's more dense than the black. And that should, you know, go straight through and pop up, uh, the lacing in the cells should pop up a little quicker than the black. I do love the black uh, cell activator for this because the rainbow colors really stand out with it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so remember the edge of that palette is gonna go towards the edge of that last swipe. Nice and slow, nice and slow. All right, so now I'm deciding what to do next. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So what I was thinking is like re reckon this with a marble, but you know what? I don't think I'm going to because I think when I spread this out, it's gonna look pretty awesome as is. So let's make space. All right, now this is the fun part. This is where all your work and prep and everything pays off. Let's tilt it, okay? Tilting, I'm gonna go nice and slow, okay? God, I'm sorry about the, the light reflections from my, my lighting in here. I'm trying to do something about that, but man. Okay. It's a heavy canvas. Look at those cells spread. So awesome. I think I'm in love with this one. Huh. Oop, okay. All right, so let's turn it this way.
right. Whenever spreading, take your time with it. Look at all parts of the canvas. Look at the whole composition and try to kind of envision how it's going to turn out. So right now, because I really like, I can't put my hand over this because I'm working in paint. I like this area back here, so I don't want to completely tilt that off. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm also looking at the other end of the canvas because I don't want those uh, cells to spread too much. Now that all the paint is completely spread, now this is where you can look at it. This is opportunity. Right now, it's still wet to actually see what other areas you want to tilt off. So right now I'm looking at that black, black going all the way up there like that, that area. And I'm thinking, do I want to keep that or not? And I kind of do, because I think it actually breaks up all the colors pretty good. And there's a little bit of black right there. Right over in that area, right there. And I think I want to keep that as well. Okay, so now I'm sitting here and I'm looking at the painting. And one thing I've learned in the past is if you like it as it is, stop spreading. Oftentimes with a swipe technique in the spread, there's been a lot of instances where I overspread it and then I lost the appeal of the, that lacing and the, the cells. But right now they're vibrant and there's a lot of contrast, which is what I wanted. So I'm not going to spread anymore. I'm just going to touch up these corners. All right, and here is the painting in black light. And I gotta say, that is pretty badass. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did not enjoy this video, I suggest you go to your local Humane Society, adopt a kitten, and place it on your shoulder. You'll feel so much better. Okay, bye!